travel all over America, and, and it's harder and harder to find things that are truly authentic. You know, in the, the world of generica, of mass retail, yeah. and of uh, chain stores and chain restaurants, you go into a place and, in, in, you know, every city and every, almost every town in America now is the same stuff. So you go into a little village um, here in western Vermont where, you know, little has changed in the last couple hundred years, and little has changed here in the Vermont Country Store since, since we opened in 1946. My father started the... Um, business and actually put out a catalog in, in the fall of 45 and then opened the store in the summer of 46. His premise was to bring back the feel of, of my grandfather's store, his father's store that was in North, North Callis, Vermont in 1897. The nostalgia of what Vermont represented, uh, you know, the simpler times, the good old days, and the products that that the, the new um, supermarkets, the new stores were going away from uh, that, that he, he wanted to bring back and continue to sell were, was the idea behind it. So it just caught and, and ever since people have just been uh, coming to our stores and reading our catalog. And one of the things we find to be most compelling to our customers is that they're touching a little piece of their childhood re-experiencing memories of what it was like days gone by and it's very reassuring and comforting. It gives them a sense of being grounded and of being consistent and stable and that's as important as anything we sell here. It's bringing back the stories and memories from people's past. you remember that game? Yeah, this is a great one. We can't help but long at some point for what once was or what we had and, and um, you know hope to be able to find it again. I used to buy that when I was 14 or 15. They like a lot of the old toys, and it's neat to see them play the same things we play. It's a delight. I mean, I you, you watch the kids down in the toy department, and if they're little kids, they don't remember, you know, sock em, rock em, robot, but they still have fun with it. So somebody may, one person may come in who's older and buy it for nostalgia, but the kids, you know, kids are kids. They're going to like it now, whether it was today or, you know, Kids 40 years ago like the same thing. Do you like these toys? Yeah. Do you like the store? Yeah. Why? It's just fun. Why do you like the Vermont Country Store? Playing. Playing. We call ourselves the purveyors of the practical and hard to find. So we're, we're about stuff that works. Our grandfather emphasized that everything we sold had to make sense, it had to be practical, it had to work, it had to solve a little problem in life. And that guides us. It doesn't adhere to every single product strictly, but it's the, it's the emphasis that we place on most of what we do. The most common thing that we've, we hear is, I didn't know they made that anymore. You can buy stuff here that you can't get from anywhere, really. It's just a lot of fun being in here because it's everything from, from candy to soups to sweaters to... Stove polish to... Lemon up shampoo and cream rinse and... Uh... It's a yodeling pickle. There's that experience of finding things you hadn't seen or, or discovering a new thing around another corner. I could get lost in here. You can't spend too much time here. You could look for hours. We're eighth generation Vermonters. You know, our family came to this state in the 1700s. And a huge part of the ethos of our state is connection to your neighbors, Dependence on the resources you have at hand, making do with small amounts of resources, making things last. Did they, have they told you about the recent sales of Kohler Surf? And the, you know, I think um, people are feeling pretty fragmented in their communities and, and not a real sense of connection to where they are. And, and so when they, they find a place that is unique and special like this, they flock to it. And I, I, think, I think we need more of it. I think we need more of a sense of community in, our, in, in the places that we live and call home. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you got to make an effort to get here and get people from all over America, all over the world, do make that trek here to come see us. It's about authenticity. It's about tradition. It's about community. Vermont Country Store is an extension of those values.